Vous écoutez la méditation quotidienne de la parole de Dieu proposée par la Dalle, l'aumônerie diocésaine de l'apostolat de laïque de l'archidiocèse de Douala. Esprit du Seigneur, viens, viens nous accompagner dans cette méditation pour la plus grande gloire de Dieu. Amen. Lecture de la première lettre de Saint Paul apôtre aux Corinthiens, chapitre 12, verset 31, au chapitre 13, verset 13. Frères, recherchez avec ardeur les dons les plus grands. Et maintenant, je vais vous indiquer le chemin par excellence. J'aurais beau parler toutes les langues des hommes et des anges, si je n'ai pas la charité, s'il me manque l'amour, je ne suis qu'un cuivre qui résonne, une cymbale retentissante. J'aurais beau être prophète, avoir toutes les sciences, les mystères et toutes les connaissances de Dieu, j'aurais beau avoir toute la foi jusqu'à transporter les montagnes. S'il me manque l'amour, je ne suis rien. L'amour prend patience. L'amour en service. L'amour ne jalouse pas. Il ne se vante pas. Il ne se gonfle pas d'orgueil. Il ne fait rien d'inconvénient. Il ne cherche pas son intérêt. Il ne s'emporte pas. Il n'entretient pas de rancune. Il ne se réjouit pas de ce qui est injuste. Mais il trouve sa joie dans ce qui est vrai. Il supporte tout. Il fait confiance en tout. Il espère en tout. Il endure tout. L'amour ne passera jamais. Parole du Seigneur. Chers frères et sœurs en Christ, un jeune garçon peut aimer une jeune fille en vue du mariage. Ce n'est pas de cet amour qu'il s'agit dans 1 Corinthiens chapitre 13. Ou alors, deux amis peuvent s'aimer profondément dans une amitié réciproque, sincère. Même là, il ne s'agit pas de l'amour dont parle Saint Paul dans 1 Corinthiens 13. Par contre, aimer sans rien attendre de l'autre, aimer à ses dépens, Aimer comme le Christ a aimé en donnant sa vie pour les personnes redoutables que nous étions. Aimer jusqu'à aimer ses ennemis. C'est là l'exigence de 1 Corinthiens 13. C'est là la vocation du chrétien laïque dans le monde. C'est le seul amour qui demeure. Parce que Dieu lui-même est amour. Love can mean many things. The Christian writer C.S. Lewis wrote a book called The Four Loves, each of which can be found in the Bible. Looking at three of them, he spoke about Eros. Eros describes physical, sensual love the love of lovers sharing physical intimacy with each other. At its best, it is a genuine and very beautiful form of love which involves the total giving of two people to each through their bodies. St. Paul is not talking about this. There is a second form of love called philia. 
Filia is really the highest form of love. It is a love for friendship, where friendship implies a total mutuality and sharing between two people in a mutual self-giving to each other. It is a love of lovers at its best. The love of the happy married couple, of friends who are deeply committed to each other. Sex may or may not be part of it. It implies an enduring relationship which may not be present in an eros situation. Again, Paul is not talking about this year. Agape. Agape, the third form of love, is reaching out to another person with a deep desire for that person's total well-being and wholeness. It is a love of compassion and caring. It differs from filia in that it does not expect a return, though that may be given. It is a totally unconditional form of loving. It is love that God reaches out to all creatures whether they return that love or not. In the first letter of St. John, we are told that God is love, God is agape. It is his very nature to be so. It is a form of love that desires the good of the other quite independently of that person's lovableness. It is a love that God extends equally to every single person irrespective of who they are or how they respond. So it is a love that can be extended even to enemies, criminals, and those who want to destroy us. It is a love that Christ shows those who are nailing him to the cross. It is a love that Paul is speaking about here. It is a love which desires the good of order, and so then is especially offered to those who lack it the most. This is a vocation of Christians in the world, showing agape love wherever they are. It is a mark of Christianity, the mark of Christ, the mark of our baptism. It differentiates us from all other people. It is a love that endures forever, because it is a love lived in the image of the one who created us, loved us, and gave us life. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you for your love in my life. Make that love fruitful, that I might also become love in everything I do, through Christ our Lord. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father Michael, with Adal. <laughs>